Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Janus Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have learned the velocity triangles, like where water is flowing tangentially across a vein at inlet and outlet respectively. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to learn the calculations which are related to this particular velocity triangles. So guys, please watch this particular video till the end and please do subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy because ultimately your subscription will really motivates me to make more of such educational videos. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is something like calculations which are related to the velocity triangles. So over here the jet of the water is like is exerting a force on that particular turbine blade and due to the velocity of the jet of the water due to the kinetic energy the jet uh, the vane starts moving like the vane starts rotating so while rotating the vane okay it will also rotate the shaft also so while rotating the u that is we have seen the at the like the velocity of the vane at inlet of the jet will be same at the outlet of the jet so it take it is have a, like the similar velocity at the inlet and outlet respectively so over here we can say that this particular u is equals to u1 from the velocity triangles we can determine this u is equals to u1 that is the velocity of that particular moving blade at inlet is similar to the velocity of that particular moving blade that particular vane at outlet also, if we talk about the relative velocity of the jet at inlet and relative velocity of the jet at outlet, it is also same. But over here, so the criteria is there. Like this particular vane is having a smooth surface. There should not be any kind of friction while this jet of the water slides over the vane. There should not be any kind of interference on vane. So in this particular scenario, the this particular condition gets satisfied so over here we have got this vr is equals to vr1 relative velocity of the water jet at inlet is equals to the relative velocity of water jet at outlets so these are the two conditions we have got over here so now let's begin the calculations mass of the water jet striking the vane per second so we can calculate the mass of the water jet striking the vane per second by using a formula that is equals to rho into a into vr so over here rho, rho is the specific uh, weight of the water a is the area of the water jet and vr is the relative velocity over here so we can calculate the total amount of the mass of the water striking the vane per unit time that is per second now we have got the mass of the water now let's go back towards the newton's second law well newton's second law states that the force is always equals to the m into a so m is equal to the mass and a is the change of rate of velocity over here that is the change of rate of the momentum so we can calculate the force exerted by the water jet on that particular vane in the direction of the motion that is we have got the mass also and now we have to find out the inlet velocity of that particular uh, water jet minus the outlet velocity of the water jet in that particular same direction so from this particular velocity triangle we can calculate the inlet velocity of the water jet that we have got this particular vr is the inlet velo vr is the uh, like the relative velocity at the tangentially so we can calculate the horizontal component of this particular vr so we have got over here the horizontal component as you can see over here this cd is the horizontal component of the vr so this particular cd we can calculate by uh, using the formula of vr into cos theta also we can find this particular cd is equals to vw minus u so vw minus u is nothing but the inlet velocity of the water jet in the direction of the motion of the wave also we can find out this outlet velocity of the water jet in the direction of the wave so this outer velocity that will be the horizontal component of vr1 so over here the horizontal component we can find out from this particular velocity triangle at outlet so this will be u1 plus vw1 but uh, in the calculation we will be taken it as negative because this particular direction will be the opposite to the direction of that particular uh, moving blade so th that this is the reason it is taken as negative so now we have got all the components which are required 
to calculate the force exerted by the jet on that particular vein. So we can calculate the force exerted by using the formula that is equals to F is equals to MA. We have also got the mass and we have also got the initial as well as the final velocity. But if we put all this particular um, formulas in one place, we will be getting F is equals to rho into A into VR. In the bracket, we have got VW minus U minus into bracket minus u1 plus vw1 so if we solve this particular equation we will be getting u and u1 gets cancelled that is the velocity of that particular vein will be same so this u and u1 gets cancelled over here and the final result will be f is equals to rho into a into vr into the bracket vw plus vw1 so this is the formula which is used to calculate the force exerted by the water jet on that particular vein so this particular equation is supposed to be true if so now there are three conditions if this particular beta the outlet angle over here that particular beta is like acute angle if it is less than 90 degree then this formula can be used if this particular beta is 90 degree then the vertical component of the V uh, will get nullified so in that particular scenario the VW1 will be equals to the zero. So we have got the formula F is equals to rho into A into VR into VW. So this will be the formula if the beta is equals to zero. If beta is like a obtuse angle, if it is greater than 90 degree, then the formula will be changed. So the formula will be F is equals to rho into A into VR in the bracket vw minus vw1 so these are the three conditions over here in case of the beta angle so now let's move towards the work done by this particular water jet so the work done can be calculated as w is equals to the force into displacement so the force we have got the formula for the force rho into a into vr into vw minus vw1 so that is nothing but the force and the displacement will be u so over here we have got the formula to calculate the actual work done will be my force into the displacement the displacement is taken as u over here so over here in case of the work done there are also two criteria two scenarios that is we can calculate this particular work done in case of the unit mass or as in case of the unit weight basically that is equals to if you want to calculate this particular work done in case of the unit mass the whole of the formula gets divided by the unit mass of the fluid so that is the formula we have got this will be divided by the unit mass so unit mass is equals to rho into a into vr so this is the formula that is used to calculate the work done in unit mass in case of the unit weight work done we need to divide that particular whole of the formula by unit weight so over here the weight in case of the weight the acceleration due to gravity will be added so the formula becomes rho into a into vr in the bracket vw minus vw1 into u divided by g that is nothing but the acceleration due to the gravity into rho into a into vr so this is the formula to calculate the work done in case of the in case of the unit weight so over here we have got these two criteria for the work done that is in the case of the unit mass and in the case of the unit weight so we have got the force exerted we have got the work done as well now we can move towards the like the efficiency so to calculate the particular efficiency the efficiency will be the output upon input so the output will be the total work done and the input will be the kinetic energy of the jet so we need to calculate the kinetic energy of the water jet this particular kinetic energy of the water jet will be equals to v square by 2g so if we apply this particular formula that is the efficiency is equals to work done divided by the uh, input supply that is the kinetic energy so that will be the uh, the formula will be vw minus vw1 into u divided by g divided by divided by v square divided by 2g so if we solve this particular formula we will be getting the 2 into vw plus vw1 into u divided by v square so guys that is nothing but the formula to calculate the efficiency also we can calculate this particular work done that is that will be nothing but the difference between the kinetic energies at inlet and outlet respectively so we can calculate the work done in case by using this particular kinetic energy as v square minus v1 square divided by 2g 
so that is nothing but a simple formula to calculate the work done so that uh, this will be the alternative formula to calculate the work done by using the kinetic energy at inlet and outlet respectively so guys i hope you understood these particular calculations in case of this uh, uh, turbines by using this particular velocity triangles so we have seen how to calculate the force exerted by that particular water jet on the way we have seen the work done as well as the efficiency so guys in any of the doubts any of the queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video